My name is Kyle Collins. I've actually been coming to Grand Parkway for about three years now. And so I actually came here a while back when I was in third grade all the way up till seventh grade. And I knew Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior then. Uh, but whenever I got into high school, I had different priorities. My priorities at that time were either hanging out with my, with my friends or pursuing sports, baseball and football. And so Christ just didn't have room in my life then. And so it wasn't until after I graduated high school, I met my wife and uh, she was a church goer. I was like, she invited me to church and I was like, you know what, I don't know if I can do this. And so uh, eventually she did get her way. We did go to church and the church that we went to taught the prosperity gospel. And so uh, it was motivating, it was exciting, but we always left there feeling empty. And so, uh, you know, three years later, my uh, parents actually invited us back to Grand Parkway, and so we, we the first time we heard Neil's preaching, uh, it wasn't just excitement, it wasn't motivation, it was, you know, biblical truth, and so uh, we decided to pursue Christ more. We decided to join a community group as well as a discipleship group. I believe Jesus Christ is God's son and that God raised him from the grave. Hi church, my name is Astrid Collins, and I have been attending Grand Parkway Baptist Church for three years now. Now, I actually came from Colombia. I was born and raised in Colombia, and I went to a Catholic school, and I was raised in a Catholic home. And honestly, for me at the time, I was very young, and I didn't understand how to have a relationship with Jesus. The only way that I knew how to was by having a rosaries or praying a lot, right? But I didn't have a meaning behind it. I didn't understand how to have a relationship with Jesus. And one of the biggest things and challenges for me was understanding that I didn't have to try so hard to have a relationship with God. And uh, something that I really, really uh, wanted to share with you guys was an experience that I had when I came to the U.S. back in 2007. And I actually attended a Prosperity Gospel Church. Now, there's nothing wrong with this church, right? But for me, um, every time I would walk in there, I would feel very excited. I would feel the joy and the excitement of, yes, you know, God's got me and, you know, Jesus is great. And I would feel so motivated. But I would walk out and I would feel empty again. And as a young adult, I just, I, I needed more. I wanted to understand the Bible. I wanted to understand how to have a relationship with Jesus. And I couldn't find that at that church. And so one day, I met my husband, right? <laughs> we actually have been together since 2019, my husband and I. And him and his family actually introduced me to Grand Parkway Baptist Church. And uh, the first time that I came into uh, Grand Parkway, I remember I, I was almost tearing up because I heard Neil preaching and he was so straightforward and he was honest and he was no bluff at all. As you guys know, he it was very, very straightforward and he was reading from the Bible. He was reading it word for word. And for me, that was the very first time that I ever experienced something like that. I knew that I could have a relationship with Jesus and that he already paid the price for me to be able to have a relationship with God. And for me, that's something that baptism truly represents is that I get to have the opportunity to have a friendship, a relationship with my creator, that Jesus was the lamb of God. He was the perfect lamb and that I have now the opportunity to have a friendship in a relationship with God the Father. And that's something that I'm so grateful that I can say, so thankful that I can say. And that's what baptism means to me. And so today, church, I'm here and I'm proclaiming that I believe Jesus Christ is God's son and God raised him from the grave.